I reported on this story over a month ago, guys, but the details have changed. The technology, we now know more about it, and it's absolutely incredible. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. There's been a breakthrough, a new battery invented by Australian researchers that says it has five times the power of lithium ion batteries. Is this legit? Is this true? Well, it is, but of course, there's always a slight catch. I'll tell you what that is in just a second. This technology is commercially ready though. This is not pie in the sky fantasy. It's not one of those situations. It's commercially ready technology and it's ready today. It can increase the power of electric vehicles significantly, mobile phones, fivefold according to researchers. So, you know, things like a watch, for example, people talk about how Apple watches, they don't last long enough, the battery. They talk about the same thing for EVs, they need more range. This battery would definitely give an electric car more than a thousand kilometers of range and it would still be relatively affordable. This would be game over for ice, game over for gas, game over for diesel, game over for internal combustion, finished. Australian researchers made this breakthrough in developing revolutionary lithium sulfur batteries, which are actually not that expensive to manufacture, they can hold up to five times the energy for half the cost of traditional lithium iron. Here's the catch though. We don't know exactly what they're saying the cost is. However, a team at Monash University in Melbourne, that's the university that my sister went to, by the way, claims to have developed a new lithium sulfur battery design that reduces the amount of lithium needed while significantly boosting its durability. Now, even though the price of lithium has come down by 40% this year, it is still expensive and it still makes up the main cost of the battery pack. So if you can significantly reduce the amount of lithium you need, which is what you can do if you add manganese to a battery as well, then the battery pack comes down in price massively. The researchers say that their nanoporous polymer coated lithium foil anode holds more energy and will be half the price of lithium iron batteries. Today's price of lithium iron batteries, you're looking at about 90 US dollars approximately at the pack level, 90 US dollars per kilowatt hour. Prices have come down. So if you're thinking that sounds too cheap to be true, well, prices this year have come down by 30%. People don't seem to be listening to me or paying any attention whatsoever to these comments or reality that the battery market is fluid, it changes. It's not a stationary product. Like if you read about the battery market, what the cost of batteries were 12 months ago, that information is no longer correct. If you're telling people, here's the cost of batteries because I read an article from 12 months ago, that is completely false today. In fact, by the time you watch this video, what I'm telling you will be false as well because the battery price is constantly changing. Current pack prices though per kilowatt hour are around 90 US dollars, meaning it's nearly as cheap to make an EV today as what it is a gasoline powered vehicle. This though would bring that cost down even more and improve energy density, which would massively increase range. When you improve the energy density, of course, you can make the vehicle lighter. So it's exponential type gains that will occur as a result of deploying this battery chemistry. A long standing issue with lithium sulfur batteries though, here's the problem, is that lithium anodes and sulfur cathodes react with each other. However, this creates tree-like structures called dendrites, which are the worst, and they branch up from the lithium anode, degrading it and the electrolyte, which is the medium in which lithium ions shuttle back and forth. That reduces the power the battery can deliver and means they ultimately die too soon to make them commercially viable, as in the lithium sulfur technology we had in the past. Sometimes lithium sulfur batteries that we had would only last for 50 cycles. It just wasn't commercially realistic. The problem can also end up making the batteries short circuit, as you've seen in a number of EVs this year already. That potentially causes the flammable electrolyte to catch fire. This is the same problem that has blighted lithium ion batteries, particularly lithium ternary batteries from companies like LG Chem, LG Energy Solutions. And it can even happen in batteries from Tesla as well. There was a recent Tesla battery fire here in Australia, and that was not a lithium ion phosphate battery pack. It was a lithium ternary battery. 
PhD student and lead Monash researcher Declan McNamara said the new thin polymer coating his team had designed significantly improved the number of times the lithium sulfur battery could be cycled. The polymer contains tiny holes less than a nanometer in size or one billionth of a meter, which allow lithium ions to move freely while blocking other chemicals that can attack the lithium. And this was the solution to making lithium sulfur batteries actually work for more than 50 cycles, in fact, for a lot more than 50 cycles. But how many more? Well, researchers said the cooling also acts as a scaffold for lithium and helps it charge and discharge repeatedly. Metallic lithium is a bit like a double-edged sword, said the researchers. Lithium is packed full of energy, but in a bad battery, this energy is wasted on side reactions. On the other hand, if the energy is channeled correctly, it can make some incredible energy storage devices that are easier to make. This coating is a step towards highly efficient, easily manufactured lithium sulfur batteries. Just adding the coating. His colleague, Professor Maymac Majunda, said the study establishes a new framework to protect lithium metal from rapid decay or catastrophic failure, which has been an Achilles heel for these batteries up until now. Another team member, Professor Matthew Hill, said the batteries can make an instant impact immediately. He said the market for electric vehicles, drones, and electronic devices is on a steep growth pattern, and this research is commercially ready for manufacturing to support that growth. Now, rechargenews.com says that lithium sulfur batteries are one of a number of new battery technologies vying to make inroads into the dominance of the lithium EV market, in particular, electric cars. With other chemistries, also including zinc ion, sodium ion, iron air, lithium ion phosphate, and then you've got hybrid batteries like the M3P battery, which is a combination of the new manganese lithium ion phosphate battery, which gives much higher energy density. So there's a lot going on in the battery industry right now. Now here's the, the real challenge with this battery. The researchers have, of course, said they've enormously improved the stability. So it's no longer got 50 cycles, could have 500, could have 1,000. But the researchers, as far as I can tell, have not actually outlined how many cycles the battery can do before it reaches the end of its usable life. And we really need to know that information before we can get excited or too excited about this technology. It sounds great to me so far, but a little bit more information I think is needed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.